does being fat lower your testosterone levels? Ah, uh, well. This is the TRT and Hormone Optimization YouTube channel. And if you want to learn all about the science-based information on this topic, consider subscribing, hit that notification bell, and you'll be on your way. In a more political way, let's just call it uh, uh, obese or overweight. Um, yeah, but look, body fat is definitely not going to be your best friend when it becomes unhealthy. In fact, in 2007, Harvard University published a study where I believe it was somewhere like 1,600 or 1,700 men in a random clinical trial uh, were tested, and it showed that for every one-point increase in BMI, and I know BMI is somewhat of an outdated metric when it comes specifically to body fat because BMI can also be due to muscle mass, right? I'm sure if you at your height and weight went and got a BMI test, you would come back classified as borderline obese, and obviously you're far from it. Now, while the cardiovascular effect on, uh, on, on uh, uh, BMI would be relevant to someone with elevated muscle, the health implications overall, especially to the endocrine system, are not the same. Because if you weigh 200 pounds of you know, 30% body fat or 200 pounds at 8% body fat, obviously there's quite a bit of a difference there with regards to your, your, your physiological functions. But with that said, uh, they did test, you know, slightly obese men. And uh, the whole goal of this study was to determine if obesity has an underlying effect. And what the study found was interesting for every one point on average across the board of 1700 men, for every one point increase in BMI, they found a 2% drop in testosterone serum levels. So there is a direct correlation on obesity and testosterone. Now, what we don't know is if this is specifically correlated or if it's simply an association, because it is fair to assume that people who lead a lifestyle that is conducive to becoming obese are probably sedentary, possibly smoking, possibly have comorbidities, right? Like diabetes, hypertension, et cetera. Maybe some genetic predispositions to having uh, dyslipidemia or imbalanced hormones or uh, a lack of functioning endocrine system. So the question here is the state of low T actually responsible for promoting the metabolic syndromes that led to obesity, or is it the obesity that actually led to the low testosterone? So this is a little bit unclear. What we do know is they're usually often found together. And it is quite common for people who are obese to obviously suffer from health implications. One of those being hypogonadism. So in short, whether it is associative or directly correlated, my recommendation, take care of yourself, exercise regularly, eat well, get quality sleep, reduce stress and anxiety in your life, and you will give yourself the best fighting chance to optimize your levels naturally for as long as possible. And then obviously when you get to that middle age range and or you start to feel signs and symptoms of hypogonadism, by all means, seek a competent provider to run the appropriate tests and then educate you on what it is that you should be doing moving forward in order to optimize to where you need to be. But testosterone therapy, when done correctly and optimized, will certainly help to prevent and reverse metabolic syndromes, cardiovascular risks, and improve lean body mass while reducing visceral fat at the same time. So definitely a correlation between those two. Which comes first? Does it really matter? We want to live our very best, do both at the same time. Exactly. Hey, and now do this next. Click on one of these thumbnails to learn a ton more about TRT and hormone optimization.